case of Japan, uh, the exports, as far as what it's exports, different than China, for sure. No doubt about it. And the big one there is right here in the middle, transportation. That's going to be cars uh, and, and trucks and stuff uh, related to transportation. Don't see that big uh, at a, of an auto market at the moment in China. It's there. It just doesn't comprise a large percentage of its overall exports. Uh, we see machines very similar to China uh, in terms of being the largest percentage. But the thing that's really uh, that we don't see here is textiles are very, very, very few and far between in terms of manufacturing. And we hardly see any primary sector. Just a little bit there. Mineral, maybe metals in some respects. Uh, but we see instruments machines, chemical products, high-tech, high-skilled exports. Uh, so instruments that's going to include photo equipment, uh, you know, optical equipment that goes into our bodies, medical devices that can, you know, see what's inside our arteries, all that very sophisticated stuff uh, is, is comprised there. And Instruments. So really, instruments and machines probably should be lumped in together. Machines being like stuff like computers, uh, computer chips, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, we zoom in a little bit more, we can see. Rather diverse in terms of the stuff that they're doing here, but overwhelmingly exporting cars. That's the big thing here is cars in Japan. Where are we exporting stuff to? Uh, in Japan, they're exporting a lot of stuff within the region uh, to other countries there in Asia. Uh, to a slightly lesser extent in North America compared to China and to definitely a lesser extent Europe. Uh, one of the things is you do see a little bit more exports of Japanese products to uh, Oceania. That's going to include uh, Australia. So there is a little bit closer relationship between Japan and Australia than China and Australia. And further, you're going to see more relationships between Japan and South America than China and South America. And that has to do uh, with a little, actually some, some history, some legacy that the Japanese has, in particular there in Brazil. So we zoom in, we can see Brazil being the uh, largest South American uh, 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 destination for Japanese exports. Africa, yeah, it is a destination, not as big of a destination market for Japanese exports as Chinese exports, uh, but nonetheless, it's growing and something that you can expect only to grow over time. You'll also see that China is is Japan's uh, is, uh, Japan's uh, tied for uh, first number one export destination, and so a lot of the Japanese products are being sent to China, where you have a fast growing economy, people with more disposable income, people wanting cars, people wanting uh, smartphones, people wanting. To live longer, and so uh, hospitals are investing in sophisticated uh, 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 medical devices that are being manufactured and then exported from Japan.